countdown time at the stands. A wealth of world premieres. What are the biggest trends in the global car market? Seven finalists, but which one will win Car of the Year? The stars of the show have landed in Geneva. In amongst the cranes, the cars are reunited with their podiums. A thousand people are hard at work, day and night. There's a lot of work, the electricity, the lights. It's a race. Yeah, it's a bit of a race. The assembly of the 200 stands began three weeks ago, but just a few hours away from the launch, the pressure's mounting at Dacia. We're working in a really organized way, even if it might look disorganized from the outside. But there's an alchemy that makes it something really nice to experience. There's always pressure, but the team loves that. Especially at a show like Geneva, which is a super important show. The very last hours are absolutely essential to make sure that everything's perfect. In the last few hours, it's all about the finishes, the rehearsals, putting the last few cars in their places, adjusting the pictures, the lighting, all of that. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're ready. And there's no room for error. In just a few hours, over 10,000 journalists will descend on the show. This, the 85th edition of the Geneva International Motor Show, represents the start of the European car year. Geneva's one of the top five car shows in the world, and 2015's a particularly good year. 900 cars, 220 exhibitors, more than 130 premieres. You could say it's sold out. I mean, we've sold all the space. From Hall 1 to Hall 6, there's not one single square metre of available space now. And I think that all the signs are quite good. As you know, in the United States, production has increased very much last year. And in Europe also, recently, we've seen some French brands having some good results. And in Switzerland, it's still all right. And I think it's, uh, it's encouraging. Around 100 innovative green cars have their own dedicated area. And just like every year, the Geneva car shows a veritable breeding ground for new technologies. We talk a bit about connected cars, and in the next three or four years, we'll be talking a lot more about connected cars. We also talk about driverless cars. This is also something which is coming gradually. At the start, it was more of a handyman affair, but today there are major manufacturers putting their weight behind this technology. And that's the future. 110,000 square metres of exhibition space are waiting to welcome more than 700,000 visitors until the 15th of March. The global car market is still pursuing a growth course in 2015, and in Geneva, the manufacturers have some surprises in store. For the first time, there isn't really a clear trend to be seen. It's a show just how we like it. It's a great show which is promising lots. 150 premieres, including 60 world premieres and just over 40 European premieres. That makes me happy. Why? Because I like cars which are for pleasure. I like cars which are fun. And one third of these premieres will be sporty cars which are fun to drive. Geneva is an essential entry point to the European market. The manufacturer's platform is complete. We're pleased to see Chinese manufacturer Corus back again to show some new models because we'd like to drive them given the time we've been waiting. And then there will be a few fireworks, especially on the Bentley stand or the VW stand. There are going to be a whole host of new models which will make it worth a visit. And there's another good surprise, the prices. Thanks to the strength of the Swiss franc after the currency floor was scrapped, manufacturers are piling up discounts in Switzerland. We can dare to hope that for once, Swiss customers will be able to have the latest technology in their cars at slightly cheaper prices than normal. Expect surprises galore in this, the 85th edition of the show. Who will win Car of the Year? Once again, the most prestigious automobile prize will be awarded at the opening of the Geneva Car Show. Seven manufacturers are in the running to win the 2015 crown. For us, it is the biggest prize in motoring. To have this logo on your car means such a great deal to the people who designed and built this car. But also for us, it means that if you are a consumer and you want to know what's the very best car out there, if they see that logo on there, they know it is the very best that they can buy. All of the candidates have been tested and closely examined by a jury of specialised motoring journalists. And if we win that, then that is a real judgement of how well we've done, recognised by journalists across Europe. The finalists are the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer, 
the Citroen C4 Cactus, the Ford Mondeo, the Mercedes C-Class, the Nissan Qashqai, the Renault Twingo, and the Volkswagen Passat. We have soon finished our testing here at the Ceram track at Mortefontaine outside of Paris. Now, back to the Geneva Auto Show. How are things there? Find out the answer in tomorrow's edition.